Christians be lured to give because we want to give because of the blood relation. But I want to tell you, you must base on what the Bible says. It's just like somebody starting a business. The business in your token uh, language or context, we want to help everyone. That, that, that's a business context with us. But I tell you, the business, the business does not have any relation. The business run on its own name. Your brothers on the left, your uncles on the right, the business will run on its own. If you want to mix the relationship and the business, the business will bankrupt. That's why the pigeon community we are not successful in running business. Yes, I mean the world we the business. Because we always want to accommodate every request. And it's difficult for us to say no. We come to a shop of a feature owner, a lot of credit from A to Z. But when your business is bankrupt, nobody will come and help you. I come to Germany and there was a uh, there was a shop there belongs to an Italian person and there was a, a notice outside. Please pay up your credit. I was very curious because I see a, a pigeon flag displayed on, on that shop outside. When I saw all those things, they are all featured there. See, the way we run business and our understanding of the business, we take it to Germany. Hallelujah. But I tell you, my friend, money does not have any relation. Amen? Amen. So when you deal with money, make sure you deal with the context of money. Hallelujah. So when you talk about the soil, make sure you drop it in a good soil. Because if you want to be a father Christmas and you want to help everyone, very soon your business will be bankrupt. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you are not Father Christmas. Amen? Hallelujah. And so as to us, some of us, we are here, we have a salary every fortnight or maybe every month. Some of us, we have a salary of every week. So I tell you, my friend, be careful where you give your money to. Hallelujah. You must know what is a good soil. You must know how to plant into the good soil. So number one, how do you know the good soil? Number one. You must be led by the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit must lead you. He is the teacher. He is the counselor. He is the one who will tell you where to give and when to give. Especially to who to give it to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't want people to ask me, Shuba. Or even my friends who ask me, can I have uh, five dollars? Can I have two dollars? Oh, you can do the spare money. Hallelujah. There's a lot of spares, but I don't, don't give you any from you can have. I want to give where the Holy Spirit leads me to give. My friend, if you want to know the good soil, if you want to know the good soil, get connected with the Holy Spirit. You must listen to the Holy Spirit. He will tell you the right soil to plant. Tell you never, tell you never, you must listen to the Holy Spirit. You must listen to the Holy Spirit. See, don't be drawn by your heart. Don't be drawn by the feelings and the emotion. You must be controlled by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You will never go wrong, my friend. Hallelujah. You will know when to give, where to give, and who to give it to. Praise the Lord. And no wonder, 530 this morning, the Holy Spirit spoke to me to teach there. Teach this. If not, I will 
go to number six. So make sure, number one, if you want to know the good soil, ask the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If maybe you have hundred dollars or fifty dollars, you may have hundred dollars and you want to bless someone with. Because when you listen to the Holy Spirit, you will be the answer to somebody's prayer. If you just give it because you want to give it, people receive will not appreciate the good thing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember I will always testify when I was in Seattle and I received 800 pounds for my ice cream in Seattle. Hallelujah. I could have bought something in Seattle. I could have took uh, money from Seattle because I had to travel down to Sacramento and Santa Rosa. I asked the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit said, some of the senior pastors, they are struggling with their, with their fare to Meru. They are struggling with paying their fare. That means when I gave the 800 pounds, I am an answer to somebody's prayer. Hallelujah. When you listen to the Holy Spirit, I tell you, my friend, you will be the vessel that God will use in areas of your life. Even if ten dollars, even if five dollars, you must always ask the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to encourage us today. Number one, if you want to know what soil is the good soil, always ask the Holy Spirit where to give to. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, that we must be controlled or be led by the Spirit of the living God. So we will not do the, gratif the gratification of the, what our body and our mind desires. So every day of our life, every step that we take, we must always listen to the Holy Spirit. Okay, let us listen to what the Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. Here, the Sakaya, the Lord of all in Alotamu, the Lord of Sene, the Hokim, and the Redani Tomayamu. English translation. So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of sinful nature. Hallelujah. See, whatever your body wants to do, the Holy Spirit will tell you no. Your body wants to give this, your body feels sorry for this person, your body oh, wants to please this man, your body wants to please your relatives. The Holy Spirit will say no. The Bible says, walk by the Spirit. So you will not do the things that you desire, your body desires. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit, the reason why he came into this world, Jesus said, he will come and lead you and guide you and show you to all truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Number two. The wisdom to know Oh, the reason why you should, how do you know the good soil? You must have the wisdom from within. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 15, from verse 30 right up to verse 33, that we must have the wisdom to, to do what we're supposed to do. Let us go to Proverbs chapter 15. If you have your Bible with, with you, please uh, turn with me to the book of Proverbs chapter 15. Let us hear from verse 30, 31, 32, and 33. Anara masama rau kita, nalo mani tamata. Ia ni rogo rogo kita, sauru kita, the sweet, the sweet love. 
Andalina, Santa Uva Roco, Santa Uva Roco, Santa Uva Romona, the Huno de Pula, Santa Dodi Mota, the Hill and the Hupo. O Quesa Pesce, the Huno de Santata, Nayalona. Yoko Quesa, Vagro Roco, Kine Hunao, and a Roco Mukumai. A rare of each other, the Vagu Huli de Hupo. A Samburi, the Vagro Romota. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you have the wisdom, the first thing that you do, you start to fear the Lord. And then you will know where to give your money, where to plant. Because you are fearing the Lord. The Lord comes first in your life. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. So we need the Holy Spirit. After that, we need the wisdom. Number one, the Holy Spirit. Number two, your wisdom. You must give where you see. You see it right. You understand it. And when you fear the Lord, the Lord will direct you. The Lord will give you the wisdom. The Almatur. The wisdom will come from the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us listen to that English translation. Proverbs 15. 30, 31, 32, and 33. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart, and good news gives health to the bones. He who listens to a life giving rebuke will be at home among the wise. He who knows discipline despises himself, but whoever heeds correction against understanding. The fear of the Lord teaches a man wisdom, and humility comes before honor. Hallelujah. The Bible says when you fear the Lord, the wisdom starts to come to you. The moment you start to fear the Lord. And the Bible says, you listen to rebuke, you listen to correction. Because we'll give you all these things. Amen. Amen. Sometimes when we hear the preaching and the teaching from the Lord, said, oh, the, those are the olden days kind of stuff. We are now in the 21st century. I tell you, the word of God remains forever. Amen. Remember, man. Isaiah 40, verse 8, plants die and flowers wither, but the word of our Lord remains forever. Yeah. What is written in the Bible 2,000 years ago and 2,000 years before Christ and 2,000 years before David is still alive today. Yeah. Because the word of God is alive, powerful, and sharp like a double sword. Yeah. So, I want to challenge us this wonderful morning that we are listening to this. Uh, this morning in China Church and for those that are listening in other parts of PG or from the world. When you start to fear the Lord and follow his instruction and ready to be rebuilt, I tell you, the wisdom starts to come. The wisdom the more you humble yourself, the more you try to walk with God, the more you have the wisdom that you cannot achieve from school, you cannot achieve from the university, you cannot achieve from any company. The wisdom of the Lord will come to you how to use your mind. Amen. 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 So when you start to fear the Lord and follow His, his command, and come to where the dwelling, the presence of his Holy Spirit. I tell you, the fear of the Lord will come to you and give you the wisdom to do the right thing. The wisdom of the Lord will give you the right direction. Amen. I'll tell you why. Because I know. Some people get a degree, they have masters, they still drink, they still smoke. But it's written in the packet of cigarettes, smoking causes cancer. And here, there are no more in the book. People in the book will hear it. You are not to mind, but I need to go. Go to the back of the chico, go to the back of the chico, go to 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 the chico. Amen. We need the wisdom from God, because that is from God. Anything from God is good. Because God is good. Tell your neighbor, God is good. Hallelujah. I'll tell 
Sometimes uh, people in the church, how many, how many years you've been knowing this God? How many years? Hallelujah. You're just eating the thin stuff, when I'm for like a, for a bottle of stuff. So you know, 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 we're supposed to go upgrade our food. No more drinking milk. <coughs> Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise the Lord. We're going to say you. 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 We're going to Praise the Lord. You never tell me to go to the church. Amen. Then the world will be saved. You go to the church. You go to the church. You go to the church. Amen. Then the world will be saved. You go to the church. 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 That's why you can get it. Go, do your homework. Make sure that I'm speaking to you on the same context of your understanding. You shall impose to go the bill only. So impose to go and the people about the book that. That is according to the Bible, it's pre-war work. I want the new Methodist Christian Fellowship. We have two people like it. And the Kaka of the Alpha. You're going to need two people like it. Two years ago. You're going to need two people like it. You're going to need two people like it. You're going to dump it in the corner, and you're going to dump it in the corner. You're going to dump it in the corner, and you're going to dump it in the corner. You're going to dump it in the corner, and you're going to dump it in the corner. But you're going to dump it in the corner. We respect men, but we honor God. We fear God. God is number one in our life. Amen? Give a mighty hand clap to the Lord. So knowledge is something that you search for, you look for it. And knowledge is something that you can go through your reading, you go through studies, you go through fellowship, when you fellowship. So when you are in a wrong fellowship, that means your knowledge will never increase. Amen. 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 For so many years, we fellowship with the uh, with the uh, with the people that uh, that we know that they are not achievers in this life. We know that they struggle in this life. No fellowship with eagles. I say. Fellowship with the people that uh, they uh, expose and prove themselves. Amen. What is the matter? And the two book in the knowledge, come your knowledge. Hallelujah. So na ka na nanda lo tu na lo tu chisu. Se acerta ni lolo, se acerta ni macho. Está subiendo todo lo que está en la casa, no va a tener mi cola, que le meta. Yo no me acabo de boca porque está aquí en la escala. En el doble escala, yo creo que la capa también es mona. No es mona nada, no es solo y solo y ni calor, pero que la quiero, no hay nada que no hay nada. Es solo acá, es en el cani macho. Si me cambio lolo, se acerta en el cani alo tanto. La Holy Spirit will show you the deep things and the unseen things. Kau nak kamu sakit itu cuma kamu, nama kamu sakit di dalam mana lah, bayi? Mereka nak mula kubur, kubur tempat. Kau nak di rumah mana nak mula? Nampak nak musuh? Ia lebih nak bersih. Hah? Hallelujah. Tapi bagai itu nama. Tapi bagai itu kan tak bersih 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 nama. Tapi bagai itu kan tak Nah, nak kas, sabi so nama tadi tu mak, sa ope, sa iru, sa reba, sa nama. Hallelujah. Ini apa cuma? You don't need the Holy Spirit. You just look to the mirror. There is a monster looking at you. Praise the Lord. So, high five, mana begitu tu kasar? Kalau saya tanya ni buat kasar. Saya tanya ni buat kasar. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, we are. Challenge the king and the people to see when God. If you want to know the good crown for you to plant the seed, I tell you, my friend, you need to do your own research. See the lesson that we've been going through right now. 
this lesson here is still with Tuana. You can give your email, email address and Tuana can send it to you. And when he send it to you, go through all this list. Do your own study. Amen. Hallelujah. The problem in the church, we rely too much on men. We talk about it about Mabab. Hallelujah. Do the way of Kaya mo ay mimosulang doon sa tangas. Doon yung sumusulong. Wag mo yung nung tungkas ito. Mimosulang ito na marunong mo bita para kasi. Basulang ito na nung tungkas ito. Ito na marunong ko. Isang magandang mo ito doon yung sumusulong. Sasa yung talikan yung mga gilas. Yung talikan yung lot. Yung mga kastama. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you plant your seed, your brain will tell you. Because you know where to put your left where you put your right. You know your mouth when your spoon leaves the plate. You know your mouth. You don't start from your ears. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Anything about knowledge is here. So my friend, it is a duty of the church to do your duty. Read your Bible. Pray. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Because if any teaching from up here, any teaching from me, any teaching from the senior pastor, that is not according to the Bible, you know, you pick it up. Because I'm very transparent with what I say. I have a confidence in what I say. I have a message of the hour. I have a revelation from the That's why I'm confident with what I preach. And I challenge PT today. People to walk straight in the eyes of God. And we must concentrate on what God called us to do. So now, so we talk about the seven society, the back of fundraising. Amen. Hey, the seven aside, two of them, and none of them, we are not like So many churches today, we are deviating from what the Lord has called us to do to preach the gospel. That's why the doubt are one bite the dust, another one bite the dust. Oh. They continue to bite the dust. Hallelujah. Because we turn away from the call of God. Hallelujah. The sheep are scattered now. Why? Hallelujah. Because the shepherds are not in their place. To me, because we live from the Father. We are lead because we are saved. Amen. You know, the new Methodists, 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 the but in the Sahara, in Namai, and the Kahika, you can go. They pull out again to do it. They pull out again to do it. To preach the uncompromised word of God. To preach the uncompromised word of God. To preach the uncompromised word of God. I was very happy last week when I was invited to the villages, many villages last week. Rama Lebu and Buliku and Lomon. I was very happy because the clothes that I saw in my dream. In 2004 in Australia, that caused me to cancel the 150,000 that was offered to me one year. Who could they have 150,000 one year? <coughs> that means 10,000 per month more. And the same clothes that I saw in the vision in Meru Christian Center in Richmond, in New South Wales, Australia, is the same clothes. That I saw in Bulitu, the same clothes that I saw in Rara and the same people that I saw 
in the morning. That means the time will come, the word of the Lord will be taken to villages, will be taken to the beginning in their son. Amen. Amen. When you do your research, when you have the knowledge, you will be very powerful. When you have the knowledge, you will be very powerful. We need the word of God that comes every Sunday, that is on fire, that is like a chopper, that is full of milk, that you am soul, and there's a peaceful atmosphere in the environment. We need that kind of food. When we finish with the church, there's an excitement. We punch the air and slap our neighbor because we know that God is with us.
Kami kaya dalawa tamu, kaya Joshua, ni do sa reyla na, na nung tumbula ng bete, do sa rolata, na kato ni Bira ng lati, murbi na ako ito. Now, you must look for the priest and men of God that they are walking with the word of God. Kapo Joshua, kaya kaya tato sa mga tulitani, murbi na wala ni Juan ito, kung tukar ito, rolata tiko, na kisi, ka tiko kina na po sa nikalo. Yan ang nangyari po, kaya sa mga tiko na kisi ni Lao. Ini bukan sahaja untuk mana, ni tata dari tu sahaja pun nak kato ni tak ada mana. Kena bos ni kalau itu kelama, kato dong pada lama ini nampu tu bila lama, dong mulia. Berita nampu nak tahu siapa kita, dah kato waktu kain dan sorit tadi. Ini, so many people today see you are asking where to give your time, you are asking where to give your offering. Sorang lawan yang kuat. Jadi kita nak perlu saya muni nak mumpala, itu nak muni kau ni tu, itu nak muni kau ni lagi, itu nak kau kalau kau ni tu, itu nak mereka. Kami kau nak do, nak do ada yang nak rode, take for take, take for rode. Amen. Kau ni boleh lari tu, itu soal itu orang lawan. Hukum main dulu. Nak bos ni kalau kau si kena bawa ni. Beri semua. Ah, dulu mama nak soal ni tu, mama ni mana huni hutu ni. Aku tak nak dengar orang ni bukan itu. Ini orang macam cuma kita nak tahu tu apa yang nak kita buat. Kita nak tahu tu apa lah. Siapa kita nak buat tadi belum tahu tu. Jadi semua, kalau kami boleh beri makan orang orang, berdiri apa nama orang orang yang masuk lagi wah aku jual pun. Esok kita buat lagi ni apa nama tuan. So many women that are going around prophesying that they are women of God. Ibu ada mana nak alam dia tahu orang orang apa? Abi kuturi. Eh, bagai salah tu kan untuk kuro. Dua malam mau ingat di sini, lagi tiga puluh sembilan tahun. Pagi nanti malam tak nak keluar di tiga puluh sembilan tahun. Jangan lupa kita akan mengambil alam. Hari ini, pada waktu tiga puluh sembilan tahun, awak pun ada presiden masih tim calon yang untuk bawa tanya, awak tidak cuma orang. Hari ini, calon awak sah awak lah mana? Awak sedikit lagi buat nak bawa ikan pada nama dia. Eh, buat apa yang nak bawa ikan pada hari ini? Bayar. Kerana mana itu itu nak bawa ikan? Saya boleh buat tiga puluh sembilan tahun. Kau tahu, kalau tak ada pun perlu bisai. Kau tahu, perlu mana kau perlu bisai cuma boleh. Wah, apa pun perlu kita awak cium. Awak cium lebih mata kita nak mata tu kita makit deh. Enam lima orang nak keluar mata. Kalau tak ada pun perlu bisai, perlu bisai mana boleh cium. Tengok mana mana mana, mana 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 Pray for the fruits. If the fruits is okay with you, then follow. But the fruits can be spared. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We pray so much today. We thank you for this wonderful time. That you are speaking to us through revelation, preaching, and teaching. And we thank you so much for this wonderful time that we are gathered here and people that are around Peter listening to your word. Now we we can rely on the Holy Spirit. We can rely on the wisdom because of the feeling of the Lord. We also know that the knowledge will come when we desire and we search for it. And the forward we thank you Father that the fruit will be in front of us. We thank you. We praise your mighty name because of the Bible study. That we will unlock spiritual breakthrough, financial breakthrough, physical breakthrough because of your word this morning. We always remember to give you the glory, the honor, and the praises. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Hallelujah. Nangkele bapa, nangkele mula mula. Nangkele bapa mau pi kau kira, nangkele bapa mau tiga kira. Thank you, Jesus. Aku sudah tiga lima tahun di sini tanya. Aku sudah tanya nama mula. Also for those that are listening from churches, combined zone, combined regional meetings. I invite you right now to go to the altar, surrender your life. 
Shall the Holy Spirit will reveal to you. Simplify to you the message that we receive this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise your mighty name, Lord. Let us worship you. Ma <laughs> Oh, we praise your mighty name, Lord. We thank you, Father God, this morning. We know that you are speaking to us. Let us soak into the presence of God. Let us soak into the presence of God. Let us soak into the presence of God. Oh, 
Ang mga na swimming ko na langi-langi na bete rin na lukay na nanonood siya nga na tulo ay na magkakali sila rin dahil Ruo Tolu Holy Spirit we thank you in Jesus name Jesus is Lord to God be the glory forever and ever Amen Sumit ka ng sokot Hallelujah Praise God Kung hindi na pala sila na noon na ako tinuwali na hindi kuha Hallelujah. <laughs> and a radio feed you are. So, what do you have to say live? And you will be able to say it with you. God bless you in Jesus. What do you have to say with you? Hallelujah. And you will be able to say it with you. And you will be able to say it with you.